I begin with thanking Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, our creator, the creator of the universe and of everything that's in it, and uh, emphasize the fact that this universe uh, has been built on exactly the same plan, testifying to the unity of this great creator who is the sole master of the universe without parallels, partners, or similitudes. And I seek his blessings to, Prof to Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him. Yes. And I seek his blessings to Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him. Yes. The end of that long chain of prophets and messengers sent by Allah to men for their gu guidance in areas that cannot be correctly addressed by man. And I greet you all in our Islamic way. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Wa alaikum alaykum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Uh, may Allah's peace, blessings, and mercy be with you all. Black holes are very recent discoveries. They were not known until the last two decades of the 20th century. For a book revealed more than 14 centuries ago, to speak about black holes in explicit language is a miracle by itself. Because nobody at the time of revelation of the glorious Quran, nor for very many centuries, after the revelation had any idea about the existence of black holes. Black holes are unknowns. They are dark areas mm -hmm. in the sky. Nobody could see them, but they noticed that they swallow anything that goes into their horizon. Any planet, any galaxy, any star, any uh, constellation, that goes into the horizon of the black hole, which could be several thousands of kilometers. The in black diameter. hole could swallow a galaxy. Can swallow a galaxy, yes. Wow. Can swallow a whole galaxy. And where it goes, we don't know. It just disappears. And the theory was raised that these are excessively dense matter, a form of matter that is excessively dense, particularly after the discovery of neutron stars. And the assessment of the density of neutron, neutron stars uh, to be in the order of one billion tons for a cubic centimeter. Uh, and it has been observed that uh, uh, anything that goes in the horizon of a black hole disappears. And it was assumed that this black hole can keep on swallowing uh, matter and energy until it reaches a critical mass then explodes and goes back to the smoke of the universe. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> How did they see uh, black holes? We only see streams of electrons running towards a, uh, an, an unseen spot. Uh, and these are mainly uh, snatched from far away heavenly bodies that cannot be swallowed by the black hole. And astronomers today claim that uh, black holes are uh, the pivotal axis of any galaxy, the center of gravity of any galaxy, the center of balance for any uh, galaxy. And there can be more than one black holes in one and the same galaxy, so that they ca it can hold together, or they can hold together this massive number of stars, massive number of satellites of the stars. Yes. But Professor, if the black hole is inside the galaxy, yes. how come it doesn't swallow it? Well, uh, the distances between the stars uh, is so vast that it, cannot, it can only take a stream of electrons from it. Mm -hmm. as, a, as an example of its uh, uh, excessive gravitational force, it can detract electrons from these uh, highly distant bodies uh, to indicate the position of the black hole. But it doesn't swallow it. Any that goes in the horizon of the, of the black hole is swallowed. So the, gal the rest of the galaxy you're saying is at a distance yani further than the horizon? Oh, definitely. Mm -hmm. It has to be. Mm -hmm. If it went into the horizon, it will swallow it. The whole, a whole galaxy, if it goes into a black hole, it can swallow it. 